So my name is Tulip Pitanagi. I work for the Heidelberg University uh, Publishing. And uh, today I am going to uh, show you how we use PKP products in our XML production process. First, I, I'm going to show, uh, show you um, some screenshots of uh, our um, publishing uh, infrastructure and our XML generation process. Here you, on the right side, you see an image of the uh, books we have already published. So what we have, we have five OMP-based presses. We have 180 submissions. Uh, from that, 100 are monographs and 80 are edited volumes. We are using OMP 1.2 as our backend, and for the front end, we have developed our own Web 2 by based uh, front end application. To round up, we have 90 OJS journals, all are OJS 2 based, and 22,500 articles. Maybe we are the 10th largest open <laughs> access publisher in the world when we compare with <laughs> these things. Um, we have, uh, as inputs, we get, uh, get um, mostly Microsoft Word uh, documents. And occasionally, we get OpenOffice and also LaTeX documents. As output formats, we have PDF, HTML, and EPUB. All our publications are open access. This is how uh, um, our server uh, infrastructure looks like. Um, we write the data using the OMP backend. We read the data using the Web2Py front end. And uh, for the journals, we use only OJS at, um, <coughs> as the backend and the front end. To, re uh, to represent our XML files, we use a fork of the lens viewer that we, we have modified to support bits. Uh, because for the bo book uh, production, you need something a little bit more than JETS. So these are some screenshots of our landing pages of the Heidelberg University Press. A book page, all the metadata comes directly from OMP. Citations we generate also di directly with using the citation style language, statistics even in the chapter level. This is a recently published EPUB book. And this is a uh, prototype experiment of a LaTeX document converted into JAXT and rendered using the lens viewer. Behind all of this, we have uh, developed the uh, Heidelberg monograph publication tool, which is a process automation tool, uh, which can support XML workflows. But uh, cu we currently, we uh, support XML uh, workflows, but we can also uh, support any kind of command line tool. In our production, we use it as a command line tool, and we have recently developed a small web front end for that. The tool consists of three uh, uh, major parts. One is the uh, preparation step, where we convert the input documents into XML format, then a merging step after that dissemination into different kinds of format. Each step can run independently, and you can get the results also independently. We support JATS XML and also the BITS extension from the uh, JATS. And our main, uh, main type setter is me type set. But as said, we can also use any kind of other type setters. To, uh, to generate pr print PDF, we have chosen the uh, technology uh, Apache uh, formatting objects. We have done, uh, also done tests with uh, CSS-based PDF generation tools. And the results are published online in the GitHub link. If you want to uh, begin with the out-of-the-box book publication, we have some uh, sample F4 styles also included. All the software is open source. And we are currently developing a small application to uh, edit uh, front-end metadata for XML. And for the content editing, we will be integrating texture when I go back home. This is the process. This is how it runs in a, a command line environment. This is the web-based front end. Can be better. It is only a um, beta version. We will be doing more cleaning up in future. So what is next? Next, we will be going to uh, integrate um, OMP and OJS REST service into this uh, tool. And we will be continuing the LaTeX integration. For the front end, we will be binding uh, um, our open annotation service using the REST uh, interface of the OJS. Thank you for listening. Thank you, PKP, for providing such kind of tools. 
to do this kind of publications for us.